Hey everybody, welcome to my art channel. This is Brett Hedlock, TN Artist. Hope you're having a great day. So today's painting that we're going to be working on is called Weathered Wood and Wildflowers. I've done it in Art Rage. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave any questions below. Also, one of the other things that I think is important for you to know is that this lesson is actually an acrylic painting lesson taken from Jerry Arnell's Landscape Painting Secrets book. The link's below. Jerry's actually one of my favorite people to watch doing acrylic stuff. So anyway, let's get started with it and I'll walk you through exactly what I've done here. Now this is obviously sped up because I spent about an hour doing this, but the first thing I'm doing here is I'm taking the roller and I'm rolling in kind of a uh, hooker's green kind of green and then following that with a little bit of a more of a yellowish green as well. Uh, what I'm doing here is laying the foundation to give the effect of some grass in the background. So uh, I've laid it in, I'm taking the palette knife and uh, just taking it and kind of blurring some of that in in the background there but then I decide that I don't really care for this and how it looks so I switch palette knives over to the just uh, blend paint and uh, the uh, smear one as well so I'm using all the standard tools here I'm not using anything uh, crazy I think there's maybe a couple times I use a small custom brush I made but primarily just out of the box type stuff so I, like I said I've spent some time doing that here of blurring this in and kind of getting a feel for it and trying to fade it back but then I decide I don't really like it and I want to switch over to this other palette knife so that's what I'm doing right here because the thought process is, is I want to make this look like grass that's in the background that really has um, you know kind of blurred out so I'm doing it this way and then I realize okay I like how it's looking I think that's kind of a cool blend but then I switch to the marker tool to start laying in some of these different tones and, and shades and that kind of stuff and really kind of breaking up that dark green so it's not just a big dark green in the background but instead it does take on more of the grass tone uh, then I kind of smear it out again and I can smear and blend the paint and again try and give some of that grass feel and then switch to the ink tool now what I've done here is I've created another layer and taking the pencil tool I'm drawing in lines and once I've got the post established I start trying to figure out my colors and I'm looking at the what he's suggesting in the book for colors and trying to simulate that and get a feel for it and finally I settle on this kind of a grayish brown uh, it's not really I guess I could call it a dirty brown if you will and I'm laying that in with the uh, custom brush and I'm using just the one of the brushes found in there play around with it some of those brushes are rather heavy on processing power so they can kind of lag a little bit so you need to play around with which ones you like but all I'm really trying to do is just streak in some color I'm not trying to cover up the entire background because if I wanted to do that I would just use the fill tool uh, but I want that streakiness to kind of show through I'm, I'm building textures here is what I'm doing and almost kind of dry brushing it in Jerry does a lot of dry brushing in his paintings and that's kind of what I'm simulating here with this and using the exact same uh, type of strokes so once I've got that in all I do is I move the color tool to where it's a little bit lighter hue uh, and a little bit lighter value as well and so then I start stroking in some where the highlights are going to be and this is all being done under the pencil layer because I want to be able to remove the pencil layer just like that and that way I can kind of see where it is and start building up everything so now I really start kind of going in with it and I realized about a good way through it that I wanted to use the chalk tool set on hard wax and the pencil tool and start uh, playing around with my colors and textures there. So that's really what I'm doing here. And I stick primarily with these throughout it, although I do switch a little bit to the uh, marker as well. The marker tends to give a really nice uh, painterly effect with it, as does the uh, pencil and chalk, to uh, chalk tool set on hard wax. So again, I'm just kind of playing around with the crevices and the different areas on here. And I just keep kind of going back and forth, building it up and uh, trying to play with the color and the tones and everything else. So I keep doing this for a little bit and uh, kind of getting what I like. And then once I've got everything where I think I like it, uh, I start kind of deepening some of the colors so that those cracks look a little bit darker and then pushing the highlights a little more to really make that stand out from that nice grassy effect I have in the background. So now it's a matter of adding in some warm highlights, removing the pencil layer, and then going in and, and throwing in some just quick lines and some random shapes for flowers 
and grasses and stuff. So here you can see I zoomed in a little bit where I'm putting in some of the details and then sign it and basically done. So that was really quick, I know, but I wanted to just kind of show you and give you a quick walkthrough of this and say that, you know, you can absolutely use standard traditional painting techniques to get some really nice looks and painting uh, paintings done in Art Rage, and, and that's one of the areas that I think it excels in more than any other program. So I hope you got something out of this. Like I said, it's just a real quick video to kind of show you some techniques and show you some uh, different tips and stuff. Make sure if you liked it to hit the like button, hit the uh, bell for the notifications, and come visit me on Facebook and everything else. If you like the book and want to try it out on your own, I put the link down below. That's my affiliate link. Feel free to use it and help support the channel. And other than that, I guess have a fantastic fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon.